good afternoon welcome to my channel have you ever seen those adverts on um, Facebook and Amazon and all that from these companies that offer these chub rub tights um, you know the short tights that stop above the knee that are supposed to help you with chub rub if you don't know what chub rub is <laughs> you're obviously not a uh, plus size <laughs> um you don't need to be plus size to suffer from chub rub i've suffered from chub rub all of my life and i was a size eight before i had all my children um chub rub is when your thighs rub together causing friction basically um which can lead to rashes uh broken skin and bleeding i have suffered from all of those and as a result i don't tend to wear skirts so i saw this advert on facebook at the beginning of the month well i've been looking at them for about the past month or so from a company called snag who claimed that they were the best out there so i went online and had a look and i hummed and a hard and, um, and in the end i thought you know what i'm gonna buy myself a couple of pairs and see how i go it's summertime i want to wear skirts um i don't want to have to wear a pair of tights underneath it so i ordered i went onto their website fabulous little website and um it was you i think you got something like 10 percent off if you ordered three pairs so i thought you know what they were six seven pound a set so i went for it okay this is what i got in the post this arrived uh, i ordered on the 4th of july and this arrived on the 9th okay it comes in a very nice discreet little brown paper packaging tied up string no there was no string uh, label it's very very discreet you've got the name of the courier on it the return address is written very very small there my address is under this piece of paper and it's just again the courier number and the stuff that they all scan on there other than that it's plain which i thought was quite nice yes i have opened it because i have a pair on <laughs> okay but i'm going to show you the process i went through when i opened it I ripped it open at the top you can rip it either end whatever inside is my dispatch note um very nice and very low budget you know snag um my order number which is also on the front of this um just tells you how it's sent it was sent by whistle which is a courier company here in the uk um there was three items inside a contact number and all that lot which they haven't even put any of that on here um snag breeze black in size e i am a size 16 to 18 here in the uk okay and i went for e and i bought two pairs of the black and one pair dubbed builder's tea <laughs> which is like a nude or a slight tan okay um unit price was 679 for the two black 680 for the one bit of vat on top so i saved myself two pound 40 off of these which i was quite pleased about so yeah so i thought okay all right yeah okay we'll do them up so let's have a look there is no plastic in any of this packaging guys i was overwhelmed by actually how eco this company is i'm quite pleased as i said i've got a pair on so yeah the labels are done in the color that you ordered i had two with the black and one with the um, builder's tea okay each pair is done up in some nice red bright red tissue paper which i quite like i was very um uncareful opening the first one and i did want to keep the tissue paper so i'm going to be a little bit more now i laughed when i opened the first pair because in true hosiery fashion there's nothing to these bloody things okay now i'm going to switch away from the overhead camera and embiggen myself like i need embiggening there we go Woo there i am right so <laughs> are you ready that's it look at it are they tiny look <laughs> <coughs> I sat and laughed for about a minute when I first saw these, but that's that's pretty yeah, they're the size of my head. And I'm expected to get my size 16 to 18 ass in these things. But so I'm I'm gonna show you a little bit about them before I show you what they look like on, okay? Um I'm gonna go back to the uh to the other camera. Right. 
they've got a very chunky seam a very chunky seam okay a nice big waistband this waistband is over an inch wide okay it's um, one of those seams where there's no rub on this bit on the up down bit it all looks to be sewn in really really well you know it's very very elasticy very nice at the other end is another seam and this looks like it's been folded over a couple of times to be perfectly honest I tell you what let's get the builders T1 out and we'll see I wonder if I can I'll just unpeel it Ooh. Right. So let's have a look. The builder's T1 might be a bit easier to see. So this is the builder's T1. Oh, that's much easier, look. So that's your seam. That runs down your front and your and your bum. Okay. And it, it looks really thick, but once they're on, I mean I can't feel it. I can't feel mine at all. But that is a heck of a seam. That's the inside. That's the outside of the leg. and that's the inside of the leg so what do they look like on i've got the black pair on okay i'm just gonna give you a quick flash now as i said i'm a size 16 to 18 here in the uk so it's quite a bit off me all right this is me as you see quite a nice big bum move my chair out of the way now i sat them on this morning and i have not adjusted them since i put them on all right they finish when I first put them on, they were they were here. All right, they've moved up a little bit throughout the day. They're solid, okay. They're pr they're pretty much solid. Where where they have stretched a bit, you can see my underwear and 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 my fat bits. Yeah, they <laughs> the waistband is sitting here in line with my skirt. All right, my navel is there. Okay, so you can see where the, I've got a little bit of a line, but I have been sat down for a wee while. Um, they haven't slipped much, to be honest. Um, my skirt is sitting quite nicely on it. They haven't moved up much on the leg, and where they are sitting on my legs, it's not too annoying. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of room there to you know they're not i've got a pair upstairs i've got a nice little lacy bottom bit that i bought off of some company i think it's on ebay and they dig in these they don't they sit really nice it is like wearing a pair of tights and i can't feel scooch back in i can't feel the um the bottom seam it's not cutting in it's not digging in it's not causing me any discomfort whatsoever like I said, I think these were, what, $7.99 a pair? And I bought the three pairs, and I paid a grand total of £21.57. Uh, they were here in less than a week. And the packaging is all paper. I can't fault them. <laughs> I really can't. They are so comfortable. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with them. Now... In the interest of complete disclosure, it is only 1 p.m. at the moment. I put them on about three hours ago. I've been walking around my house. I've been over to the shop. Got we shop just over there. I've been over there, but I haven't really been walking about. So I'm not going to publish this video yet. I'm going to publish this video next week once I've worn them for a few days and I've been out and about and been quite active in them just to see how they go. I also want to see how they are when I've been sat on my sofa being a lazy cow for, you know, a few hours or whatever. Um, so yeah, but we'll go from there and I will publish my re review, end review, I suppose, in a couple of days and I will tag it on the end of this video. So yeah, fingers crossed that they, they work. They're very, very nice and thick and they, they feel so comfortable. I don't feel hot and sweaty. I mean, it's 23 degrees and I don't feel hot and sweaty. I don't feel sticky. I don't feel uncomfortable. Uh, I actually feel quite quite cool and, and quite quite happy in them. I don't feel, you know, clammy or anything like that. Um, yeah, no, I really, really like them so far. So we'll see how they stand up to, you know, uh, 
wrapped around the bum of a single mum. <laughs> I like that, the bum of a single mum. <laughs> um, you know, who's got an active four-year-old and, and we'll see how they stand up. So I will post again at the end of this in about a week, maybe maybe the first couple of days of next week. I'll go through the weekend with them on and, and then Monday and Tuesday because I've got a few pairs so I can, I can test them out. Um, and then maybe Monday or Tuesday I will post and let you guys know how I got on with them. Okay, thanks very much and uh, check the review out. Welcome back. Um, okay, so what you've just watched was filmed on the 12th of July. It is now Friday the 26th of July. So it's been, you know, it's been a couple, couple of weeks and I've worn them a few times. Um, as I said, I bought two black pairs and a builder's tea nude pair. Um, one of the black pairs was immediately stolen by Callie, my daughter, <laughs> and um, she's enjoyed wearing them. She's worn them a few times and said that they're, they're very, very comfortable. Um, and they they sit very well and i've got to agree with her they are extremely comfortable they don't roll up they don't roll down they stay where you put them um they eliminate all the chub rub problems um i've got my black pair on today so under my black summer dress i had to hike it up because i ran it over with my chair just now so this is my my summer dress and it's floor length okay so i constantly trip over it now that so that you can see me so there's me knee and that's where they sit naturally okay so they sit just above the knee now I've got that little bit of a of a chub there but I don't have too much of an issue with that and you can always always pull them back down if they're a bit too short okay because you know so you can wear them slightly lower like this leg okay they don't feel like you're putting them down or anything like that. So height wise, they are up to, you know, they're up above my my belly button, okay? Um, they sit very, very comfortably, all right? The seam on the front and the back, you can't feel it. You really, really can't. It's, um, although it's a thick looking seam, I have to hold my skirt up while I, otherwise I run my chair, uh, my chair runs my skirt over. The seam is thick, but it's not, it doesn't rub, it doesn't get in the way. Um, the, the gusset part, hang on, I'll go and get the other pair. Okay, so the gusset on all of them is like a reinforced gusset you can't honest to god this looks horrible but you really cannot feel it once they're on inside they've got that extra little bit which kind of gives you quite a breathable little area so while you might get a little bit clammy wearing these and the temperatures in the uk have been up at 30 degrees um this week while you may get warm wearing them well of course you are it's another layer you don't overheat as much because they are literally just covering you know your stomach to your knees so your, your legs your lower legs and your feet are free and your upper body is free so you've only got that extra layer just around you know around your middle bit <laughs> to be discreet um to wash them hand wash them and air dry them and um yeah they come back good as good as new i love them i will be ordering more will i get uh, more colors i don't know because they do come in quite a range of colors and um my friend janie she went to a wedding recently in a blue outfit with a pair of blue ones these underneath i don't know that that is strictly necessary if you're going to order some of the nudie or the builder's tea colored ones um i mean you know it's me telling you what they look like on but when you've got them on they blend in quite well these ones so i'm kind of like well I don't know that I would order different colour ones unless I'm not really that worried about them showing at the bottom and I know some people aren't so you know it's really down to personal choice I've left a review for these on Trust, Trust Pilot, I think it is I did that this morning because I, I got an email asking me to and I gave them five stars I can't fault these these are fantastic they're comfortable they're thick without being cloying and they're strong they're well made you know I love them 
absolutely love them. Like I said, I'm a 16 to an 18, more 18 than I am 16 at the moment. And um, I reckon I could probably still wear these without too much issue if I manage to get down to a 14. You know, um, they are incredibly elasticy, but they don't feel like they're constricting me because I'm heavier. Um, I've gained weight recently, what was one thing and another. And I don't feel like, you know, that I'm wearing too tight a pair of trousers or anything like that. They, they've accommodated me. And when I take them off, they shrink down basically back to what they were before I put them on. So yes, I would 100% recommend these. They come in eco packaging. Um, it's all very discreet eco packaging. They're comfortable. They don't irritate. I can't, there's, I can't find anything wrong with them. I really can't and I have put them through their paces okay I've worn them on the hottest day underneath this dress um, that was yesterday or the day before and I've worn them again today and I've been out in the car so I've been getting in and out of the car and it's quite a low car so yeah I've been getting in and out of the car I've been shopping I've been to lunch with my mum and they haven't moved unless I've moved them I didn't go into the toilet and all that lot I've had no issues with them whatsoever would I change anything? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. I'm well happy with this. The the only the only bugbear I might have is that there was no washing instructions with them. Okay. Um. The the hand wash that I I just told you, Janie told me that. That's how she cares for hers. Um. So that's what I will be doing. I will be hand washing them. Um. But you're supposed to do that with nylons and that. Anyway, hand wash them as you would your regular tights and stockings and nylons. Depending on where you are. It depends on what you call them. Yeah, so, you know, if you wear these regularly, hand wash them as you would, uh, wash them as you would your others, okay? It's really up to you. If you hand wash them, they're going to last longer. If you air dry them, they're going to last longer. If you stick them in the machine and do them in the washing machine and then stick them in the tumble dryer, the elastic these are elastine don't forget okay it's all elastic material it is going to perish eventually due to the high heats that you're washing them in okay that would be like anything that's got elastic in it so it's just it really comes down to just a bit of common sense and to hand wash them you know i mean if you're somebody that wears a, a, a new pair of tights every day they're going to need a dunk and, and 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 a rinse and then hang them up if you're somebody that might wear them for a couple of days on the trot in the not quite so hot weather then um you know soak them for a wee while half hour or so in in detergent and water and and then rinse them off and hang them up and see how they go you might have to experiment a little bit okay as to what works for you but yeah I would 100% recommend snack tights I will be buying more um I'll probably buy another black pair and maybe a couple of pairs of the of the builders tee just so i can wear these under because i don't only wear black <laughs> contrary to popular belief um yeah i do have some other skirts that i want to try them with i've tried them with about three different skirts um the only issue i had at first it was quite a weird sensation was this dress the, the bottom of it is lined and um at first the lining felt different as it, it, it tickled a little bit as it rubbed against me bum <laughs> but that yeah i got used to that in a couple of seconds so yeah there you go that's it i i can't i can't recommend them enough if you are larger and you suffer from any form of chub rub any any friction from your thighs rubbing together parts of you rubbing together whatever if something rubs snag okay i will leave a link down below to where i got them from okay um it was uk i don't know whether they're worldwide but you know what google snag tights and see what you come up with you might be able to get them where you live all right um yeah 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 can't recommend them enough there you go Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions whatsoever, please, please, please do leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm happy to answer any and all questions. And um, yeah, thank you for joining me. If you click the book over here, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that appears down there somewhere, and YouTube's in a very good mood, you might even be notified when I upload new content. Take care, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.